What's up, everybody? Good morning. How y'all doing today? Well, what's up, man? Bitcoin miners, how you doing today? Bitcoin holders, how you doing today? Okay, okay. My name is Alan. I'm the regional sales manager for JS Bit, and welcome to Mining Disrupt 2023. See, it's crazy. I was here last year on this very stage, almost to the day. But see, JS Bit was the Powered By sponsor, and that was crazier. And I say this because it was at a time when things were really unknown of what was going to happen. A lot of companies were really tightening it up, hunkering down, unknown of what was to come. But not JS Bit. We saw the writing on the walls. We saw the potential ahead of us. So we did what every great company had to do. We brought the fun. We had a prize wheel. We had a cash cube. And we had a giveaway. What that did was have people flock to our booth, talk to us. And ultimately, that led to what mattered most. Connections, partnerships, friendships. And I say that, and I mean that. A lot of you here today, I consider friends. And I talk to a lot of you more than I do my regular friends. Because it's something you guys get, and it's what you guys understand. But of course, I want to take this time to thank my, the Mining District crew for making all this happen. And I want to give a special shout out to Michael and Gabriel, wherever you guys are. Thank you for creating a community that can allow all of you guys to come together and nerd out on what we love most. And that's, well, that's Bitcoin. So with that being said, when I was here on this stage last year, the title was called Bear Market Coming. We talked about the opportunities that a bear market has and exactly how we can take advantage of them. So when I was told, Alan, you got to come up here, you got to talk again, I said, okay, what am I going to talk about? What is it going to be? So I thought long and hard. I just didn't, didn't feel right. What was I going to call it? So I went up to my colleagues and I said, help me out, guys. And again, it just didn't feel right. So I did what everyone else does in 2023. I went to chat GPT. I asked some questions, but still, it didn't feel right. So the CEO went up to me and he said, Alan, I think the answer's staring at you right in the face, man. And he was right. It was right there. So with all our originality, we came up with bull market coming. That's the title today. And it'll make sense as we continue and as to why the potential that you see today will ultimately lead us to the next bull market. But of course, I have to say this. Thank you all for holding, for buying, and for mining Bitcoin in one of the longest bear markets in Bitcoin short history. That's a round of applause for all of you for making that happen. Because that's hard and it's tough. But exactly how did we get here to this current bear market? And how can we push forward? Right? That's the question. Well, see. I can only tell you the way I saw it. And that's the day I stepped off this stage last year. A lot of you came up to me and said, Alan, okay, the bear market is coming, but what's the price going to be? The price at that time was about $23,000. And I, the first three people that said it, I told them the truth. I said, I think it's going to be 20, 20,000. And then I knocked on wood real quick because I didn't want to go any lower. And of course, spoiler alert, it went to 15K, which was crazy. It, Honestly, tripped me out because I didn't think it'd go as low. Why? Well, because I was coming off the high that was a $65,000 Bitcoin. And that was insane. But ultimately, as we look back, we come to realize that, wow, the writing was on the walls. And there were many factors that led to this point in time now. And I'm going to point some out because these factors really made sense. But if you guys have more, let me know later. I'd love to hear them. Let's start off with the first one. That would be, obviously, government regulations. As Bitcoin grows and as we start to really understand this world, we come to realize that a lot of people, well, they don't do their research. They just jump in and they assume market go up always. When we saw $65,000 Bitcoin, we thought it was going to go to 100K. But no, things happen in between. And what, what, what does that do? It makes the government want to step in. And obviously, when you're trying to change the financial landscape, well, they're going to want to step in at any moment in turn, right? Especially when things are bad. That ultimately leads people to have a lot of fear and not really know 
what's going to happen. And the government feels like they have to step in. And that makes people even more fearful because they don't know what the government will do. Number two, obviously the environmental concerns. I was there, and I think you guys remember, when Elon Musk said, ah, we're not accepting any more Bitcoin. Why? Because mining takes too much power. It doesn't make sense. Why would I accept it? And with that being said, I come to realize quickly that, no, I think he's lying. And with people like Dennis from Satoshi Action Fund, people like Lee from Texas Blockchain Council, I'm looking at you, Virginia, I'm looking at you, South Carolina, all of these different councils that come together and taught me something, and they said this. There are far more industries in this world that take more from you, that do absolutely nothing for anyone else, yet no one scrutinizes, uh, makes, makes fun of it, and says, ah, that doesn't make sense, it's hurting the environment. Yet here we are, making Bitcoin like the bad guy making it say it's taking too much energy, when in fact we know that Bitcoin can give back to the community, either with jobs or in energy when needed. And that's number two. Number three, we see the market manipulation. The market makers taking advantage of all of us. I want to point out something, and I want to talk about the exchanges. Last year, and not so smart, I had 50% of my money in exchanges. 10% in Coinbase, 10% in Crypto.com. 10% in BlockFi, 10% in Celsius, and 10% in FTX. I lost 30% of my money because I trusted people I shouldn't have even trusted in the beginning. I should have done what Bitcoin was about, and that was holding on my own, on my own terms, holding my own seeds. And sometimes it takes moments like these to understand what that was. So, what's number four? These three things ultimately created a lot of investor sentiment. People feeling down, not understanding what was happening. People start equating other cryptos with Bitcoin, and we know that's not true. That's why they're called altcoins. And as we continue with this, we kind of realize that, wow, things are feeling a little bit weird. But see, I'm still here, and so are all of you, holding. Because we're, we understand that Bitcoin will make a difference in the financial atmosphere that we see today. But okay, this is how we got here. So where are we going to go? How will the bull market get here into 2025 and beyond? Again, there are a few factors that will lead to this. Many more to come, and I would love to hear what they are. But the first one is the big one. The constant money printing that we see in the government today is insane. When I found out that 50% of the money supply was created in the last three years, I'm like, wow. You're telling me the U.S. government has been around for 247 years and 50% was printed in the last three? Well, of course gas is so expensive. Food costs so much. I can't go anywhere. It's insane. No longer will savings make sense because your money no longer makes sense. That's why Bitcoin does. With that being said, we have the growth of DeFi versus CeFi. Let's start with CeFi, centralized finance. It's what you use every day. When you go to the bank, what do you do? You tell them, here's my money. And what do they do? They keep 10%. Legally, that's all they need to keep. 90%, they can loan out to the world. They can give to them whatever they want at high interest rates. And they're so gracious to give you a percentage back. Less than 1%. And they're charging 20-something percent for the credit cards. 5-7% percent for loans. And that makes you realize, wow, that's crazy. And the fact that still today, if you want to send money to somebody, it's going to have to be through Zelle, which takes a few minutes, easy. But what if you want to send a large sum? Let's see we're doing business. What do you have to do? A bank wire, right? Two to three days and hope to God he didn't do it on the weekend because now it's four days. And not only that, but it's still going from you to your bank to their bank to them. Why are there two people in the middle there? Unnecessary. This is where DeFi comes into play. This is why Bitcoin makes sense. Why I can just have contact with you and the only thing in the middle is the blockchain. That's number two. Number three, last year, the price of an S19J Pro was $27, 110T was $27 per T. Let's go back two years before that. In 2021, the price of an S19J Pro 110 terahash was $100 per terahash. Well, my, wow, that's $11,000. One year later, it was about $3,000. Today, that exact same miner is valued at roughly $14 per terahash, about $1,500, almost a tenth of the price that it was two years ago. And why is that bullish? Well, that means if you're just getting in, if you thought you were too late, it's not. 
the potential is still there and the opportunity grows. And as long as you've been in it and growing and making sense, you will ultimately come out on top. And as we continue, we know that the Bitcoin halving is coming. That will ultimately allow for a cut in rewards. And you might be saying, well, why is that bullish? Well, as we continue and those who understood the patterns will upgrade their units. They will make sure they meet the needs to make it to that next halving. And yes, there, that means that we will lose some, but that's where it makes sense to, to really continue in the market and understand what's happening every single day. Because the halving can make or break people, and as long as you're ready, you will come out on top of that. So where does Bitcoin mining come into play in all of this? Well, it makes sense because the potential that I've been talking about this entire time, why haven't you gotten in? Is it the pricing? Why will Bitcoin ultimately come out on top? Because we know that we're still so early. We've only been in about 10 years, a little bit more. And a lot of people are seeing that it's still quite profitable if you have right connections to the energy and good hardware providers. Those that can get you units at the right price so that you can continue mining and have a quicker ROI. Because we're here and we understand that Bitcoin will ultimately make it to the end. We're so early. The last Bitcoin will be mined in 2143. It's still, what is it, 2023. 120 years from now, we will still be mining. And we understand that we're so early in the industry that we can jump in now. So we're not just here for the money. Some of us here just like the potential that is the financial freedom that Bitcoin brings. And interestingly enough, when you mine, you do something else. You secure the network. You make sure that everyone can make it when they want to send money to someone else safely, securely. It's one of the ways to be able to do it without having to deal with anyone else. And over the last year, I've had the opportunity to talk to so many of you and make them as friends. And I hope you guys can become friends after all of this. And I've asked the same question to all of them. I said, guys, what has stopped you from buying Bitcoin miners? They've all said the same three answers. First one is you're scared of the bad actors, the scammers. And last year, was on, when I was on this stage, I told a story of when I was on Reddit in 2018, I made a few friends. I only had a little bit of money because I was in college at the time. Not really much. I think it was under $15,000. That's a lot of money for a college kid. I was saving up for a car. I sent them the money in return of some S9s. After six weeks, they stopped responding to me. After two months, I, I started really hitting. Three months in, I accepted what happened, and I didn't even blame myself. I blamed everyone else. I blamed Bitcoin. I said, wow, I really, this is really a place for scammers. Turns out, no, I didn't do my research like I did for Bitcoin. I didn't do my research when it came to making sure I was finding the right people. So that's why I understand when people say they're scared. Some have been bit before. But that's why understanding and really doing your research makes sense in this world, not just when you're doing research for Bitcoin itself. It's really tough these days as well to find reliable used miners. Where do you buy them? Do you go on Craigslist? Do you go on OfferUp? Do you go on eBay? Right, it's tough these days. So that's another thing that people tell me is difficult in this world. Third, reliable logistics. If you're buying one unit, easy. If you're buying five, simple. What if you're buying 50, 100, or 500 plus? Who do you do business with? And how do you make sure the miners you buy get to you safely? So this is where JS Bit comes in. This is what we've worked so hard over the last years to make happen. And how exactly have we made that happen? Well. We have a trusted US support team here to help you answer any questions. Most likely, you'll get me. And my goal is to make sure that you feel safe in what you're buying, understand what you're getting before you make that purchase. And what that does is ultimately put you in a position to talk to our professional sales team who've been doing this in this business for years, doing big orders, a thousand plus, and as small as one to five units. We don't mind. We understand that when you come to us, you're looking for professional and reliable services, and that's what we're here to do. And once you've talked to us and you know what you want to get, you can know that we have so many used and new miners. New miners because we have connections within the space. We talk to the manufacturers. We tell them all the time, give us the best deals, and they do. And what we can do is give those deals to you and make sure that you receive brand new miners with warranty that are new, and exciting. So where does reliable used units come into play for us? Well, 
we have a testing site in Canada and in the US with thousands of miners and that they make sure that each miner that comes into that warehouse is professionally inspected and checked before it gets to you. You will receive testing material with videos and content to that make sure before it gets to you that you know what you're getting and that makes the difference. With Trusted Logistics, it's tough. So we have partnered with so many companies worldwide to make sure that when you do buy that miner, the last thing you have to worry about is when is it going to get to me? When will it arrive? Sometimes people tell me horror stories of waiting months for something to get there. At least when you purchase, you'll know right, right then and there where we, what we're going to use and the price we're going to charge. That simple. So I'll leave you with this. The time is tough. It's really interesting. Let's continue what we're doing. There's a lot of you here, not as, la as last year, but this is the people you want to talk to because they understand that 2025, when it comes here, oh, it will be crazy. It will be awesome because we understand the patterns that come with bear markets. And, the, and a bear market will ultimately lead us to something great because the increased adoption is growing every single day. More and more people are getting into it. Every time I come to a convention, everybody tells me, Alan, the blockchain just makes, sh makes sense. And it's true. The innovation of the blockchain is honestly mind-boggling. How no one else has created something like this. How there are so many industries we're going to disrupt. No pun there. But ultimately, if you do take that opportunity, and I keep saying that word because that's what it is, you will come out on top. Because we know that 21 million Bitcoin is all that there is. There's only 21 million. There can always be less, but there can never be more. Simple economics states this. With a supply that goes down and a demand that grows, the price must go up. And that it will do. So get your piece. And come visit our booth. We are booth 99, and I'd love to connect you guys and make you guys my friends and just talk about the stuff we love. Mining, Bitcoin, this world, blockchain, I don't care. Because it's fun. It's interesting. And while you're there, Come get yourself an Antminer. We're having a giveaway. And you can actually leave this week with one. You can ship it wherever you need to to either start your farm or, I don't know, continue the one you have. Because that's what we're trying to offer. So how can JSBit help you really make it through this bear market, make it into the next bull market, and come out on top where things can happen? My name is Alan. I'm the regional sales manager for JSBit. And I hope you have an incredible mining disrupt. Thank you.